Hi guys. Ah, I can't start the video. How do I start the video? Hey guys, it's Monday today, so we're gonna be working on this uh, fender. <laughs> Uh, hi guys, Tash Kamiyati. No, that's another channel. Um, yeah, just hi guys. I'm uh, back to this. Uh, so now that. Um, how do I start? Hi guys, so we're finally at this fender that I somehow missed when I was uh, doing the walk around of the car. I said, this fender, I don't see anything wrong with it, blah, blah, blah. But actually there's a couple of spots that require attention here. First of all, this one underneath is all rotten. And second, there's a spot here that I don't know what's happened here. And third, this area is pushed in. Uh, here I probably, I'm gonna put pictures here of this side and on the other side to see how they, how they compare. And um, you will see that this will need to come out a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot actually. And I guess this was uh, an accident. I have to check the fender. Uh, I have to check the I have to check the bumper because probably there is some damage there too because the, the bumper was mounted here and when the bumper got pushed in it pushed also this area. I told you I was expecting the panel to arrive today, today is Monday, uh, but unfortunately I didn't get the panel today. So anyways I'm going to start working on it but I'm not going to cut anything, uh, anything before I have the panel here because I want to make sure that I have enough material to work with I don't want to cut too high as Chris Fisher did hi Chris <laughs> so um, I want to peel all bondo and stuff to see what's going on here so yeah let me pull this out I'll try to pull this out and we'll go from there <laughs> Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Okay, that puts some tension on it. That's what we were looking for. Okay, uh, some of you know that I keep a collection of souvenirs of Bondo from each car and I didn't expect to have a souvenir from this car but actually now I will have. <laughs> okay. And now, here I think I can finish it with uh, the boat with the dolly underneath. Actually, I can see I need a little bit more. I need to pull a little bit more out. Probably when the part comes, I'm gonna cut it here, but still, I want to bring it out now because that's gonna give me 
this shape, otherwise this shape is going to be like this, and the new part is going to be like this, and it's going to be hard. I need something more squarish. Something like this, right? Okay. I think we are there now. Okay, so now we can see pretty much how big is the damage. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to cut anything before, before I see the repair panel for here so I can s decide how high to cut it. I know, right? <laughs> I changed my mind. I just couldn't look at it. All rusty and sh Now we can see also the the strengthener piece is rotten, but this I'm gonna find a way to repair myself. I didn't order this part. Maybe I should have. Huh? So for the repair piece to come. I can't do anything anymore here before I have it. I'm gonna do something stupid. But I'm planning if, when it comes, if it's so high, I'm gonna probably cut it here. So I have more access to the strengthener piece underneath, which I'm planning to remove, like cut some uh, where it's solid, remove it, repair the bottom end and put it back because I'm cheap and I don't want to buy parts that I can repair, you know? Some people blame me for that, but you know what? If I wasn't doing that, there wasn't going to be a channel like this. If I was going to buy new parts, why wouldn't, I, why wouldn't I just buy a new car and not bother repairing anything, you know? I think that's the fun part of the restoration, just repair parts. If I just replace parts, then where's the fun? Anyways, I think we are on a good, uh, good path here. So, I'm just going to wait for the new part to come and then we're going to go ahead with the rest of, the, of this repair. Alright, so we got the parts. They sent me a piece of wood. I didn't order wood. Ah, oh, 
This is what it is. So this is my repair panel. And <laughs> it is right in the middle. Right in the middle of this piece. Anyways. So this is the panel. And this is my finishing piece for the roof and my finishing piece for the okay I don't want to bend it but that's the finishing piece for the for this panel. Just mark it where it goes, but I'm gonna cut it lower, of course, and then I'm gonna do the final uh, cutting much later. For now, I just wanna open bigger space for me so I can work on the strengthener piece underneath. Went a little bit too high here, which is fine. Okay, so now we exposed the piece. So you see this is solid up here. So we only need a strip underneath and we need <laughs> this like paper. Now what I wanna do here on this side though, I wanna take I wanna make a template from from here where it's uh, nice and solid and transfer the same on the other side so bear with me okay that's one part so this needs to have a crease uh, a bend here too on this line but it's on the cardboard, I can't really do it, but let's see how this is gonna fit on the other side. Okay, so if we flip this the other way around, it should fit here. All right. It makes it makes somewhat sense. Actually makes perfect sense. So I'm gonna mark how high this needs to go. Okay. What I think I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to split this strengthener piece from the boot floor and then fabricate this piece but longer like all the way and try to overlap it with the old one and go in between here you know what I mean so when I'm sure that it fits well let me see what's inside You don't want to know what's inside. Alright, so you see how the flange of the floor is in a good shape up to here. And here, where it actually turns into already into valance, the flange is missing. So I can cut the, the piece here, the straightener piece, I'm going to cut it here, above the flange of the floor. So you, obviously your battery was dead because you were off guys, but uh, so I removed this piece from here and I'm 
left now with uh, the internal piece and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut one I'm gonna do one cut all the way just above the flange of the floor here and that's gonna split it from the floor like right? and then the, the flange what's left on the flange of the floor I'm just gonna grind it and the valence needs to go down, not up. That's why I didn't see it inside the boot, but still it is in a bad shape, so it needs to be repaired. So I'm gonna replace only this part here. All right, so now this is cut and I can use my template. Actually, that's the wrong one, that's the right one. And all right, so from this I transferred the shape to this and now from this I tested it on the car it's pretty much there so from this now I'm gonna transfer it to this piece of sheet metal and I'm gonna go cut it on the band so all right all right, so it's cut, and now I just need to mark where to bend it. And I'm gonna do that on the vise because I don't want too sharp corner there. And now we need to make this bend here. This is where I was telling you I wanted this to be split from the floor so I can shove this behind like this. <coughs> and did I make it too short? <laughs> okay. This is on the wrong place. On a totally wrong place. Yeah, I can cut it shorter here. It's too short anyways and I have to replace this piece as well here so I can do a separate patch for here so I can cut it shorter here and that's gonna allow me to shove it higher let me see if I have enough on the bottom yeah I do have enough on the bottom I can shove it higher there uh, yeah this is gonna be for my plug welds and this This end can go higher and this is gonna make my angle here uh, match this. Okay. And even shove it more. have enough flange underneath though. We have just enough. So that's the position. I want to cut it here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this piece in the trunk for future. And I'm gonna leave this piece in the trunk for future. 
and I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna form a flange for here. Okay, now I have more or less idea where I wanna cut it. I wanna cut it here, so. So, we need to go a little bit more. Now here this area is almost straight, so I don't want to overdo it here. Thank you. <laughs> here. Oh, so we are pretty much there. The shape is pretty good. All right, so this is what I came up with. So that's the idea for this. Let me take a picture here. So this is ready, the other part is ready that needs to be welded here. Only this is not ready, but this I'm gonna cut out after I fix everything else. And yeah, so I don't wanna bring the welder now. It is almost 8 o'clock p.m. So I don't wanna bring welders now and start welding. I'm just gonna pack up and I'm gonna go home. And tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow actually, because tomorrow is my son's birthday. So the day after tomorrow, I'm gonna stay late again after hours. And I'm gonna do this patch, I'm gonna do the other patch. And probably we're gonna start working on, actually I'm gonna have to do this patch. And then we're gonna start working on the outside. Actually this area here was uh, worrying me a lot. I thought it was much more complicated and uh, the opposite the area around the windshield was a little was not worrying me so much that was a little bit easier in my mind but it turned out the opposite that one was very complicated and this one is actually much easier okay so i'll see you tomorrow i guess